First fish, small one, but hey, finally hooked up. All right, about a pound. I knew there'd be around this brush pile, just hopefully it's an evening bite and they just started taking off. He's been hooked before. He has been caught before. He already had another hole, different hole. my first fish here well, didn't take me but two or three minutes unfortunately it's not a spoon bill it's a big old large mouth this thing's about four or five pounds I'm using that oversized crankbait sure enough hey it's a fish though uh, the guy that just left had a stringer full of large white bass and stupid me did not bring any regular tackle all I got is three oversized crankbaits and uh, treble hooks and that's it but hey, that's a decent bass. I might keep him. Oh yeah, nice bass. Man, oh, come here. Ah. Oh yeah, nice one. That is a decent large mouth here, folks. He's five pounds. Oh yeah. Man. About a five pound large mouth. Man. I'm keeping this, folks. That is a big bass. All right. Good start for the day. I, my confidence is definitely built up now. Oh, wow. I got a stringer here. I can put him on. If the snagging doesn't work out, I can definitely fish for white bass. Boy, that's a big old bucket mouth. My biggest one of the year so far. Not bad at all. Not bad. She'll be happy to see that one. Tie him off to the rail, I guess. See if I get another one of them. Boy, I'll take them all day. Jeff got his first white bass, it looks like. We think that's what it is. Definitely not a crappie. Oh, yeah. Uh, the guy that was here before my friend got here, uh, he had a stringer full of white bass. Uh, we're both kind of impatient with the snagging. It's hard on your arms, and we get hung up so often that we decided to start fishing for white bass. I missed one uh, just a few minutes ago, and now he caught one. I'll keep that one, I guess. Unless you're wanting some. Yeah, oh, you got a bucket, I didn't know the same one as me. We saw that way they can't, uh, that way they can't, uh, they put it on the same finger. Yeah. I'm gonna put this bobber in my pocket in a minute. I'm gonna try it free, free lining like you are. Just be careful about reeling it in. It shouldn't sink much with this 30 pound line. 
wouldn't think it would. Uh, uh, it'll have a slow drop rate. If I had split shot, I'd add one to it just to make it heavier, but I don't even got them with me. Folks, Jeff just hooked into his second white bass. He said it's taken drag, so should be a pretty good sized one. I'm kind of down from him, so I'm about to run up. Yeah, it's been in the pole pretty good. Oh, yeah. On that crappie tube? On that uh, yellow white. Oh, the uh, twister tail? Yeah. Wow. Not bad. That's decent. About, he's about 12, 11, 12 inches. Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm switching back. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I guess, boy, I look how that, that looks like a female too because it of its is. pot belly. Yeah, huh? Well, that's three white bass for us, or for him. I, I had one that got off. All I've gotten was that large mouth so far. Haven't snagged for spoonbill in a while. Kind of off and on with it. I'm gonna. So just a twister tail, no bobber. Mm -hmm. 